Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Urgent media caught lying about Trump's pre inauguration approval ratings. Here are the real numbers. By Lindsey Bruce. The liberal media has been reporting all week that Donald Trump will head into his inauguration with the worst approval rating in 40 years. The numbers come from the Washington Post poll that has been caught once again deceiving the public by oversampling Democrats. A total of 1,000 adults were interviewed by telephone nationwide by live interviewers calling both landline and cell phones. Among the entire sample, 32 percent described themselves as Democrats, 24 percent described themselves as Republicans, and 44 percent described themselves as independents or members of another party. An article in the extremely left-wing blog Plitka Sousa claims, America is not giving Donald Trump a warm welcome to the White House as a new poll found that Trump's job approval rating has dropped 7 points to 37 percent over the past month. A 37 percent approval rating? The reason why that sounds unbelievable is because it isn't true. Trump's actual approval rating has held at 50 percent or higher. The reputable Rasmussen poll found that Trump has a favorably rating of 51 percent. A Reuters poll had the same result, showing Trump's favorably at 50 percent. A new Rasmussen reports national telephone and online survey finds that 51 percent of likely U.S. voters have a favorable opinion of Trump, while 47 percent view him unfavorably. These findings include 29 percent with a very favorable opinion of the president-elect and 36 percent with a very unfavorable one. Keep in mind, Obama's approval ratings have hovered around 50 percent or less throughout his presidency, nearly identical to what Trump's rating is now. Reuters has President Obama's approval rating at 52 percent, only one point higher than Trump. There are also a few other key numbers that aren't being reported. A Washington Post-ABC poll that even oversampled Democrats shows. 61 percent of respondents said they expect Trump to do an excellent or good job handling the economy. 59 percent said he'll be excellent or good at creating jobs. 56 percent said they have high hopes for how Trump will tackle terrorism. The fact is, the media will do anything to paint Donald Trump as a failure. They will hide all positive data and exaggerate the negative data. Don't fall for it. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.